So hello fellow banknote collectors, this is Glenn back with another video and today I have Singapore's third banknote series. The highest uh, banknote of this series I've got at the back, it's $50. And the $50 one now is actually uh, a bit harder to get, probably in Singapore and Malaysia to a degree you can get them quite easily, but in Australia they're not that easy. And I've seen on eBay, they have about a few at any one time they generally have about probably less than 10 although it depends on what ebay site if you go on the us ebay site you'd actually come across a lot more singapore banknotes because for some reason the australian site uh, filters a lot of them out so this banknote series is actually the boat series as you can see has a boat on it and that uh, a ship or a boat it's actually depicted on all of them. Uh, there, there is a fish also on all of them. And this pattern here is also represents a, an animal, usually a bird. But on the $2, uh, because that was issued later, it actually doesn't correspond to this same uh, specifications as the series. Actually, the banknote looks a bit different. looks quite different, actually. So this series was first issued in 1984, I think the $500 first issued and the last one to be issued was the $2 in 1991 and these ones all circulated up until 1999 when the current series was introduced. So we'll go through the banknotes and we'll take, have a look and see what else is on each banknote. So as you can see there is a sh ship on this side this is a Chinese uh, junk boat or Sha, Sha Chuan don't know Mandarin has it there has the name there Sha Chuan and it has the Singapore coat of arms with uh, the name of Singapore in Malay and up here you have Singapore in Malay Chinese I believe that's Tamil and English even though I don't speak Tamil. And then you have a fish down here. And this is actually a Chinese carp, and it's actually one of the security features. Maybe on the other bank notes it is. Oh yeah. On the other bank notes it's a security feature because it's on both sides. And they should actually link up. But this whatever security features. We have the line on all of them, and that actually represents Singapore. And they also have a security thread, so the security thread is over here. And this one is blue, and it was first introduced in 1987. And it was replaced with a coin in 1989. So on the back, so on the back we have uh, a flower, but I've not been able to identify any of these flowers. It looks like a type of orchid, just by the way the flower is. So if anyone knows about Singapore, flowers uh, leave a comment down below and we also have the main picture this is uh, the Sinosa satellite station so Sinosa is an island in the south of Singapore um, and this connects satellites together so that's a nice bank note and this is uh, pretty much in almost uncirculated grade and it's quite a nice bank note also very common they only cost about in uncirculated, probably about four or five dollars on eBay. Then we have the two dollars. This was the last one issued in 1991. There are two series. One issued in about February. That was the red one. And then we have this is the purple one issued in December 1991. So on this one we have a Hong Kong uh, ship, so Tong Kang there, and it has the sun in the background, coat of arms. This one doesn't have a fish on it, so that's that's a pity. But it does have these look like they might actually be types of gulls that uh, occur around the world. On the reverse, we have a Chingay parade. So they have the traditional dragon to scare off ghosts and whatever. 
We've got people, looks like Darina, Malay costumes. This, these ones, they look like they might be in a type of Indian costume. And China's over here. So, Qingai Festival. Paint that printed by Thomas de la Rue. The watermark, as normal, is the lion. So, and the security thread as well. So, that's nice. These ones, probably about 5 to $6 in uncirculated. Then we have the $5. So, here we have a tire coal. So it's a name there, that's the type of boat. Um, doesn't look like it goes into deep sea, so maybe it's just a transfer vessel for cargo. And, oh, one thing I forgot. Only one dollar, we have the Chinese crane. So this actually represents Chinese crane, the head there and the wings. And on this one, we have a Chinese lion with a ball. So the ball is down here, China's line, you can see the, the mouth and the eyes. And the fish that is actually on this is uh, a crimson anchovy. So a small fish that's used to make, um, oh, we do it, anchovies like that. I think they make fish sauce of them. Not bad. And on the reverse, we have PSA container terminal. So single world container terminal. And we have another orchid. Watermark is a lion, not normal. And a security thread. So these banknotes are actually pretty outdated. And here we have a lion mermaid. So tail of a fish. Lion said, don't know the name of that one. But if you know a name, please leave a comment down below. Oh, these ones are probably about $10 to $15 in our circulator, as you can see. This one has been circulated. And then we have the $10. This actually looks nice because it's a nice red color, beautiful. Reds, blues, and yellows make good banknotes. So this one has a Palari bartering trade vessel. So Palari has a beautiful type of uh, purplish and reds together, which makes it actually a very beautiful banknote. And here we have a phoenix, so the Chinese phoenix. So all these features in here seem to be based on Chinese culture. Down here we have the round scudfish. And that is the watermark that's on both sides. So if I turn it over, you could see the fish on both sides and they should actually match up. So if they don't match up, it's an error. And on the back, we have some orchids again and the map of Singapore. And then we just have public housing. So. If you know Singapore, it's actually built up. So there's lots of buildings for public housing. Uh, a lot like uh, Hong Kong is. And this banknote's probably about 15 to $20, depending. If you get an uncirculated one, you're probably talking about 40 or $50. And these ones, this one I would say is probably about $20. Because it's in pretty good condition and it's a beautiful banknote. The highest denomination I have is this one. So $50. These are all still legal tender, by the way. And you could probably go to um, any bank in Malaysia and change it over. Because a lot of people probably won't accept them because, it's, well, the security features are lacking for current banknotes and current technology. And they won't be familiar with it. But this is beautiful because you have blues, reds, and yellows. And it just, oh, just really just makes like a rainbow effect on the banknote. So the ship we have on is Coaster Vessel. And looks like a type of fishing vessel. But I'm not too familiar with them. And here we have the Mandarin Duck. So nice bird that you actually eat yum and the fish we have is six banded groper so you've got six bands on it one two three four five six and that's why it's called a six banded groper the watermark is also a lion and on the back we have the benjamin shears bridge it's quite a large bridge and it's part of a freeway system and 
Singapore is actually very developed. And this part is probably on reclaimed land and the mainland that was originally there is probably over here. And then we have some more orchids. Gee, Singapore really loves the orchids. Mm. And that's about it. Oh, also, this is the blue version. In 1994, they actually issued a grey version, which actually doesn't look as good as this. But, you know, you can't be picky. These banknotes are supposed to choose serve a purpose. Oh, up here is the Chinese dragon. So these are to serve a purpose, to facilitate, facilitate trade. And it doesn't stop them from being works of art like they are here. It's a beautiful, beautiful banknote. So these ones in this grade you'll probably pick up between $80 and $100. Uh, you know, uncirculated, probably $200 to $300. But really, because of their value, a lot of people would not have collected these banknotes. So there, are, there wouldn't have been that many banknotes out there uh, in the collector's market. So there are also $100, $500, $1,000, $10,000. Uh, those denominations are very hard to get, especially the $10,000, virtually impossible to get. And uh, it's just worth a lot of money. So. Most people will not collect it unless they're a rich collector. So anyway, I'll leave a link down below to Singapore Currency. I hope you like these banknotes and my presentation. And I hope you got some information about the currency of Singapore. Anyway, have an awesome banknote collecting time. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.